Recently I heard this uh, wonderful parable and I wanted to share that with you today. Once a man saw Buddha meditating under a tree. He goes to him and starts to abuse him. After abusing, he waits around for his reaction, but Buddha gives him none. Getting angry, the man uses even more insulting words, but still Buddha gives zero reaction. In fact, there wasn't even the slightest change in Buddha's expression. Now this goes on for hours. Frustrated and tired, the man asks Buddha, "I have been insulting you, abusing you for such a long time. Aren't you angry with me?" To which the Buddha responds, "I have not accepted it. Why would I be angry with you?" This confused the man. But you heard every single word I said, right? Buddha smiles and says, "I don't need abuse. Why would I hear it? All those abuses that you hurled at me remain with you." The man says, "But I said them to you." how do they remain with me suppose you give someone coins and that person refuses to accept it from you with whom would the coins remain asked buddha with me of course said the man same thing goes with abuse said buddha when you came to me abused me i refused to accept them so it remains with you and why would i be angry with you what a wonderful perspective and a powerful one at that There's so much of negativity around us, abused by people who do not agree to your opinion or your or the ideology that you keep. By abusing you or trolling you, all they are exposing is their own hypocrisy. But wouldn't it be great to not accept it, to not react to it? However, non-reactivity is not as easy as it sounds. It requires considerable practice. I've spoken about this very topic in my video previously, and I'll link to it in the description below. But here's a quick recap. Pause. We react because we think we should, and when you begin to question this, you almost always lose the desire to react. Which brings me to the third step: accept and surrender. Did you know that it's our ego that makes us react? Our ego believes that our strength is in the resistance, and surrendering is a weakness. So when you surrender and accept the feelings that that you are facing, that you're going through, you defeat ego. And with regular practice. you will master non reactivity do you have a different mantra of non reactivity i'd love to hear from you do leave it in the comment section below or you re- you may reach out to me in any of the social media handles that i'm in thank you so very much for watching i hope you continue to stay home and stay safe i will see you next week until then take care